Hey, welcome back. April here. Thanks for joining me again for another episode of my Writer's Toolkit series. What I do is I share with you very quickly different apps, books, or tools that you may use as a writer that will increase your productivity, make writing easier, or just a little bit more fun in some cases. So what I'm going to share with you today is actually going to be a website or tool that you can use and it is called Skillshare which I have been a member of Skillshare for about going on four months now so I really wanted to wait to make this video until I fully utilized what they have available so that I could give you a little bit more thorough review of Skillshare of what it is and how it might help you. So basically, Skillshare is going to give you access to different classes that you can take. There are a wide variety. Um, so again, this Skillshare is going to be something that a lot of people are going to find helpful because it is not specifically a writing related item but there are many things in this particular, there are many classes offered that are going to be very valuable to writers. I have taken, I haven't counted exactly, but I think I've taken maybe around 10 to 15 different classes. Now I will say that the, they are very simple and easy to attend. You can do this on your own schedule. They are basic videos that are pre-recorded in different segments. So it's broken up into different lessons. The length of the lessons is going to, is going to vary on, you know, what the topic is, who the presenter or teacher is. So you can really customize these and kind of get into them. Um, one thing that I do like is if you're taking a class and you already know the basics that they're going to cover, you can just go ahead in a lot of cases and skip toward the portion of the class that you're not familiar with uh, instead of going back over information that you may already know. So I do like that aspect. It is going to provide you with a way to connect with the instructor, to connect with other people that are taking or have taken the class in the past. Uh, you have the opportunity to do assignments and fill them out, all done online, all very, very simple, very easy. Again, the type of projects or homework, if you wanna call it that, assignments, are going to vary on the type of class that you take. Sometimes they will include, uh, you know, some printouts that you can have, um, checklists. Again, that's all going to depend on the type of class, on the particular instructor that you're going to go into. So uh, that's just kind of a quick, maybe not so quick breakdown of how Skillshare works. So now I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of the classes. So a quick breakdown of some of the categories of classes that are included. You have design, business, technology, photography, film, writing, crafts, and culinary. So as you can see, it's a wide variety. So while I am a writer, I actually have not taken any of the writing specific classes because what I have found Skill Chair to be most helpful to me in is the marketing aspects of writing. So I have taken, you know, some great classes about, you know, marketing yourself, marketing yourself as an author, even though the classes may not be specifically marketing yourself as an author, although there are a couple of those on there, you can take the basic principles in a lot of the marketing classes and you can apply these to yourself and make it very reasonable you know, if specific platforms. So, you know, Twitter is a platform that you want to use for marketing. You're going to find some very detailed classes from lots of different instructors. And that's one tip that I have for you today is some of the instructors may not work for you. So don't get discouraged if the first couple of classes that you kind of click through just don't work for you. Just keep searching because chances are you're going to find an instructor that is going to present things to you in a way that is specific to you. It's going to speak to you. You're going to like their style, that kind of thing. So, you know, go ahead, you know, and when you're checking out the classes, you can look at the 
ratings, what other people have said about them. You can click through the intro, click through a few of the videos before you commit to fully watching the video, just to make sure that you're going to be interested and engaged in this particular presenter's method of teaching. So some of the classes are very short, very quick to the point. Others are going to be more time consuming and you're going to get from them, you know, whatever you put out there, provide the information, they provide the projects, you know, you're going to get out of it what you put into it. So overall, I do highly recommend Skillshare. I do think that if you love to learn, you like a video format of learning. So if that is something that you are interested in, I will leave a link below where you can sign up and get your first 30 days for free. Now, you will have to put in your credit card information. However, if you don't want to continue at the end of the 30 days, you can cancel that and not be charged. So it is you know, definitely a free trial, but it is a free trial that requires a credit card, which is something that initially stopped me from signing up for this. I actually looked into it several times, took some of the free classes before fully committing and trying the 30 day free trial. So that said, I do have the ability to give two people a 60 day free trial. So if that is something you are interested, be one of the first to leave a comment below or contact me on social media and just let me know, hey, I watched your video. I'd like the link for the free two month trial and I will get you connected with that. Again, I only have two of those available. So I would love to help you out if that's something that you are interested in. So let me know, have you tried Skillshare? How did it work for you? Did you enjoy it? Do you have any questions? please feel free to leave those in the comments below. And don't forget, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.